Y'all know nothing about this, you need to pay attention. Sit back and relax, it's time for Goodall's Country Kitchen. Alright, I'm back in Lexington again. You might have saw the reviews I did last week with Mark the Terminator Sellers. He's not with me today, but I have a gentleman that contacted me named Rob. He has a cheeseburger blog himself. I'm going to let him tell about that in a minute. But first of all, let you know I'm in Lexington today for the Sweet 16 Kentucky Boys High School Tournament. Before I get going, I'm going to do a couple shout outs. Bill North, uh, I've showed y'all before. He's reached out again. He's contributed and uh, gifted my channel. So another big shout out to Bill North. Also, uh, for y'all that haven't subscribed to Keep It Cool With Sheets, Ryan's new channel, you need to get on there and hit that subscribe button and notification bell. And also, I'm gonna be coming back to Lexington we had such an outpouring of support for Mark the Terminator. I got to get back and uh, get him involved in some more reviews here in Lexington. So y'all get ready. We're going to be seeing more of Mark. All right, Rob, tell me about your cheeseburger blog. Well, I started it about uh, 40 years ago. Uh, it was called Cincinnati Burger Guys back then. And uh, once uh, the other guys got a little too old to continue it, I started a new one called new Cincinnati burger guys and gals and we've been doing that for just a little over 40 years now and we review burgers from uh, Cincinnati Ohio all the way down to Maysville Kentucky and everywhere in between all right and speaking of burgers that's the secondary reason I came here today we are at burgers and shakes been here since the 1950s I guess it's about 70 years old but you might have seen like the Parkette Drive-In and a lot of your old burger places have gone by the wayside. So we got to get out here, support these old nostalgic places or they're going to be gone forever. I like to go to places where you can go back like into yesteryear and just takes me back to when I was a kid. And you see the sign there, Burgers and Shakes. That's the name of it because that's just about all you can get here. I looked at the menu, I think they might have a chicken sandwich, something like that, but burgers and shakes, they keep it simple, and that way you know everything they have is good. If you have a lot of items on the menu, sometimes you have a whole lot of just okay items, but the limited menus, everything's usually really good. Well, as I was saying, menu's simple. Simple enough, I think I'm going to literally order everything on the menu board except for the grilled cheese. I'm going to try their fish, chicken, everything. And then, of course, the milkshakes, they keep that simple too. Chocolate, vanilla, strawberry. Something's telling me that this is going to be good. With as limited as your menu is, I would think everything you got is good. All right, so... I'm gonna order everything on the menu except for the grilled cheese. Let me get two cheeseburgers. Let me get a fish sandwich, chicken sandwich, chili dog. Y'all put all the fixings on it, onion and cheese. Yeah, we just do chili, but if you want mustard, onion, ketchup, or cheese, we'll put it on. Mustard, onion, cheese, and a large fry. And uh, I'm gonna take a chocolate shake and last but not least a diet coke large shake large diet now all i hope is i got enough money 2775 um, do you want tartar sauce on your fish absolutely and he's going to eat it all too um, and onion all. if I can get it yeah and on the burgers he does, he does a YouTube channel that's and, fine uh, that's old the name school of pickle on mustard shirt. onion perfect that's kind of a small meal for him I don't well I've got okay, a burger blog not a problem. Video, and we're kind of doing a review here together thank you 
Okay. Pretty simple operation. You go up there and order. Uh, pick up your food here. Get your drinks. Got the fountain cokes. Just like I like. Coca-Cola products. The old school dining room. Got the booths. Okay, so... I've already ordered my food, but I just ran into this young man here. What's your name? My name is Tayshawn Cobb. Also okay. known as Tay Wu. I'm an artist, I'm an actor, and I'm a model. And today, what I ordered was the cheeseburger, double cheeseburger, so chili dog, large fries, and a dot and drink. Uh -huh. I know that's like a lot eat? for me, but my metabolism, I can get a lot of food now. Don't let this fool oh, you now. Good. Uh -huh. <laughs> but you have had the food. Tell me what you know about this food, because this is my first time. It's really, really good, and they really give you what you pay for. The price here is very cheap, but you get you get like a lot more than what you like expect, and it's really good. The fries, seasoned right, they give you a bunch of fries. I'm telling you, and it's really good in milkshakes. I'm telling you, that milkshake right here brings all the boys to the yard. <laughs> okay, well, I'm about ready to find out. Now, also, you mentioned you got Instagram. You have your own page. And what's your forte? So, I'm like an influencer. If I do all types of things. I make music. I like to model. And I also do like comedy videos. You might see me on the internet just wilding out, acting a fool. Like, there was this video that was going viral on TikTok and me just screaming this song out in the car, in the window. I was looking crazy, but people, they love it. And then there was this graduation video of me. I was doing my little dance, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. And how can they find you? How can we find you on Instagram? My name is I am Taewoo underscore. All right. Y'all look him up. I got a feeling he's pretty entertaining. Okay. This answers my question. They patty out their own burgers. You see there they got the, the paper in between. I used to smash out burger balls when I was at my parents' old restaurant, Goodall's Country Store. So those are fresh, not frozen patties, in case you're wondering. Shoestring cut fries, old school. All right. First of all, I like it. They serve it. Even if you eat here, you get it in a bag. That's a mark of old school. And I got a large fry. So look at there. I thought they'd give me two orders of fries. There's just a whole bunch that are in the bag, too. Okay, these are old school burgers. I just got the regular burgers because I wanted to see what the regular was like. And by the way, did you catch what the prices were on the regular? Uh, plain hamburgers, $1.78. $1.78 for a hamburger. Look at that. Kind of reminds me of that Lay Hayes Red Castle burger in Hodgenville, small, which back in the old days in the 40s, 50s, all the burgers came small like that. You didn't have like big half pound burgers and stuff like that in the old. Got the chili dog with cheese, onion, and mustard on it. Uh-oh, I didn't bring my hot sauce. Oh man. I'm gonna have to go to the car and get my hot sauce, <laughs> so I'm gonna take a break before I start on the chili dog. Let me get these fries in here. Grilled cheese is good. Oh, you already tried that? Yeah, it's good. That's the only thing I didn't get on the menu, by the way. I think that's fish. And I think that's a chicken sandwich. And there's my other burger. And just look at all these, all these extra fries. Look at that. I thought my wife over there had two fries when she poured them out. Exactly. Let me try the fries first. They look so good. This ketchup. They are. They're good. Mmm. Mm-hmm. And I ordered it old school. Pickle, onion, mustard. Anytime you go to an old school burger joint, unless you specify you want it different, that's the way they always come. That's the way they did it back in the old days. But... I'm going to go ahead and do a little ketchup on mine. I got just the plain burger with onions, pickles, and mustard. Mm, that's a good burger. Really good. Mm -hmm. You can taste the difference between fresh ground beef and frozen. Yeah, that's definitely fresh. Mm-hmm. 
Please don't stay in business for 70 plus years if they don't have quality. That reminds me of the old little diner I was talking about down in Jackson, Kentucky when I was growing up. Wash it down with a little diet. Well, now a word from my sponsor. Shop secondhand first with Peddler's Mall. New products are added daily by our vendors. Vintage, antiques, uniques, furniture, clothing, collectibles, crafts, gifts, oddities, home decor, and more. Hundreds of vendors in every location. You never know what you will find. Interested in becoming a vendor? Contact us today. 18 locations across Kentucky, Indiana, Ohio, and West Virginia. Open seven days a week. I'm going to go to the car get my hot sauce, and I'll be right back. All right. You know, I travel with grace. <laughs> Saved by grace. All right. What is your favorite hot sauce? Do you have a favorite? Well, it's this. Okay. I just discovered it when Publix opened it by my house a couple months ago. I've, I've already been through, this is my third bottle. Okay. Which you can see, I'm, I'm almost done with that. I'll have to try that out. Oh, it, it goes good on anything. It's kind of like Louisiana hot sauce, except for hotter. Mm -hmm. Great flavor. All right. Speaking of great flavor, I've been eyeballing this chili dog. <laughs> Look at that. They ain't stingy with the cheese. And uh, you cannot have it. I cannot have a chili dog without hot sauce on it. Sorry. I'm just putting that on first. I'm not even going to play. Rob, do you use hot sauce on anything? Oh, yeah. And since I've been watching your videos, I've been putting it on more stuff. And it really <laughs> does accentuate the flavor. Oh, yeah. Say. Everybody's like, well, you just eat hot sauce. You don't even taste the no, food. No, it does make a difference. As he says, accentuates. Mmm. 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 I got the plain chili dog. Give that a try. And you know, if you'll hold that up to the camera, open it up a little bit. Look, it, that's a chili sauce. It's meat. It doesn't have beans in it. It's a nice, good, thick chili sauce. Very tasty. That's a good dog. Mmm, good chili. Chili sauce. This is like the old food I used to get, too, at the old Woolworths Diner. My mom used to take me to. Hmm. <laughs> Moving along. Grilled cheese is very good. Of course, you know what? Grilled cheese, you got kids, finicky kids. I don't know a kid yet that doesn't like a grilled cheese. All right, here's the fish sandwich. I'm not expecting... Louisville Catholic Church fish fry quality fish sandwich here. But for the price, I don't even remember, it was like $4 or something. Yeah, $3.99. Uh, you know, it comes, they'll dress it any way you want. I just told them to put the tartar on it. And you know, it looks like it's got a decent cracker meal breading. I didn't even ask what kind of fish it was. I'm just assuming it's some sort of white fish. Mm-hmm. Nice crunchy breading, but not overcooked. I mean, I wouldn't travel from Louisville to Lexington to come here just for the fish sandwich, but I definitely would for the burger and that chili dog. Right. Mm. I would definitely eat here again and get all this i've been polite so far <laughs> but now it's time to get down to business
we've probably been watching your videos two or three every night since we started. Well, I think I'm about 480 videos. Oh, wow. So you're going to be we, occupied yeah. for a while. We're probably up to about 50 right now, but we only caught on about a month and mm. a half ago. Yeah, go back to the summer of 19. And uh, you see how the channel originated. All right. Did I mention I was here to see Butler County play? Yes. Okay. Yep. And the, yeah, I said strong ties to Butler County. Stick around for the end of the video. I want to hopefully get some good clips at Rupp Arena later during the game. And at the end of the video. Would you like your chocolate shake now? Uh, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. I'll, uh, I'll give some more stories about my connections to Butler County. And has a lot to do with Saved by Grace. I'll just say that for now. But yeah, stick around for that. If you want to hear about a life-changing experience that in the path of my travels. <laughs> All right, so... Oh, that's cheeseburger. I want to get into my chicken. Okay, I told them lettuce and onion and mayonnaise. It's got a nice little uh, breaded chicken patty there. And we already know Grace is coming. Rob, what you moving in on your uh, cheeseburger? Yeah, I'm getting ready to start in on the cheeseburger here. Let me do a little ketchup dip on this chicken. That's good. I think I like the cheeseburger better than the hamburger. Good cheese. Mm-hmm. Tell you what, if I wasn't going to that basketball game later, I would come here and get a sack full of those cheeseburgers and take home with me. Reminds me of those Farrell's cheeseburgers. Y'all saw that Farrell's review I did in Madisonville, Kentucky. Every time I go to an old Farrell's, I get a bag full for the ride home. This place would be perfect to bring your family if you got kids with the prices and and burgers and the hot dogs. And now a word from my sponsor. Welcome to Billy Bob's Barbecue and Amish Deli. A little country store with a whole lot to offer, so let's go in and see what they got. They've got homemade Amish jellies, pickles, jams, and honey and sorghum. They've got local Amish-made lunch meats and cheeses. And don't forget the award-winning Kansas City Gourmet Barbecue. Y'all don't know nothing about this Amish liver cheese and homemade sourdough bread. And don't forget about the homemade Amish fried apple pie. Just a 30 minute drive outside Louisville. It's veteran owned, and y'all don't know nothing about this Billy Bob's Barbecue and Amish Deli. These kind of places are the last of a dying breed. Okay. Yeah, so that's um, September of seven years. Okay, there we go. We got the correct date 67 years. I said 70, close enough. We're not splitting hairs. That kid looks like he's pretty entertaining. Mm -hmm. he's nice, friendly kid. He was thrilled to hear you were doing YouTube videos. Oh, really? Yeah. He, he said, are you kidding me? He said, I, I'm trying to get mine started. Yeah, I wish I'd done this a few years sooner. That's yeah. all I'm saying. Another cheeseburger, pickled mustard, onion. A little ketchup dip.
Yeah, I'd definitely stop in here again if we get back down here. Now, I know how it is in Louisville. I don't know about where you're from, but mm -hmm. in Louisville, you go to these restaurants, got those yuppie burgers. Right. They're like half pound burgers or whatever. Got the brie cheese <laughs> and the chutney and the bacon jam and all that. With a burger and fries, you'll go and pay like $20. Right. And you come here, you saw everything I got. Yep. Two burgers, fish, chicken, huge fries, large drink, large shake. What was it, $32, $33 or something? Yeah. That's not bad. Yeah. I mean, that'd feed a family almost. A little mm -hmm. small family. And it's old school. Uh -huh. that's, no, a, that's kind of food I like. No yuppie burgers here. When we go to Cincinnati Burger Week, they've always got the raspberry jam jelly on their burgers and things like that. I, I don't care for those. I'm a pretty peaceful type person. But when I see that stuff, you know, with the jam and all mm. that stuff on the burger, it gives me violent thoughts in mm -hmm. my head. Don't make my shake now. Hey, I was just about ready to leave here and ran into somebody recognized me, says he watches my show all the time. I really appreciate you following. What is it in particular you kind of like about my show? I'm trying to get my like give you. myself a pat on the back <laughs> here. What do you like? I just like the visiting the old establishments in Kentucky. Okay, I and are you, are you a regular of this place? Yeah, we stopped here. Okay. Uh, well, what what draws you all here? Actually, it's food. It's pretty good. It ain't too expensive. It ain't too expensive. It's pretty good old hamburger. Been around forever. Right. Okay. Well, I appreciate you hollering at me and reaching out. And I appreciate you supporting my channel. No problem. It's good to meet you, sir. You too. All right. It's dessert time. Got to wash the rest of these fries down with this chocolate shake. By the way, that's a 32-ounce shake. What flavor did you get? Chocolate. That's good. Mm. Chocolate vanilla strawberry. Similar to McDonald's fries, but a lot better. You're right. Those, these are similar to McDonald's. Yeah, I'm going to have to come to the Louisville area and try out some of the places you've reviewed. Mm -hmm. Try some burgers, and I love fried catfish, so definitely going to have to well, try those out. Make sure you let me know before you come so I can send you to the top spot. Okay, I will. And if you get up to Maysville, let me know. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to finish this up. We're going to wrap things up here. Rob, I really appreciate you joining me. But from here, don't go away because I'm headed downtown to Rupp Arena. And we're going to check out the Butler County basketball game. And I'm going to give you a little story at the end of the video. So don't go away. Okay, unfortunately, Butler County came up short today. Evangel Christian out of Louisville uh, just had too much speed for him. Anyway, I'm sure by now you're probably wondering what significance does Grace Hot Sauce in Butler County have to do with a significant event and crossroads in my life? Well, in the summer of 2002, I started doing some research on my great-great-grandfather, Francis Marion Frank Havens. He was from Butler County. He fought in the Civil War. 
originally with the 17th Kentucky Infantry, was wounded at Shiloh, lost an eye, and then rejoined a year and a half later with the 12th Kentucky Cavalry. And was again wounded at the Battle of Saltville and was captured and sent to a Confederate prisoner of war camp in Salisbury, North Carolina. He survived there for four or five months before he was exchanged, a uh, special prisoner exchange, uh, because he was so sick. But anyway, my grandfather, L.V. Goodall, had always told me that his grandfather was in the Civil War and had had his eyes shot out at the Battle of Shiloh. So that's why I started doing research. And eventually it led me to Butler County, where Francis Havens was from, and I started doing research down there. And also he had an unmarked grave. Nobody knew where he was buried. I was also, it was a mission to find his grave because I wanted to put a gravestone on it. So in about a year later, summer of 2003, some cousins of mine were uh, going to church homecoming that day. And I was visiting another cousin who they were picking up for church. And they asked me to come to church homecoming. I was very reluctant. I was not a church goer. And I was wearing shorts and a t-shirt. I was actually on my way back from a road trip, a research trip I've been doing in Southwest Virginia. I'll explain a little more about the research trip in a minute. But, but anyway, they asked me to go to homecoming. I didn't want to go, but they, they kind of, you know, wouldn't let it go. So finally, I, I agreed. Well, I'll tell you what it was. They said, they're going to have fried chicken. Well, you know, that closed the deal right there. But anyway, all jokes aside. And when I walked into this little country church in Dexterville, a little community it's called, when I walked in, everybody in the church kind of turned and looked at me. And at first, I thought it was a look like like a judgmental type look. But just after a couple seconds, I realized it wasn't that at all. It was a welcoming look. And at that instant, something came over me, a feeling I had not had before. So I went ahead and stayed that day, stayed after, stayed for the church homecoming. As it turned out, I was distantly related to just about everybody in that church because that's where all my ancestors came from, on my dad's side. So anyway, I left out of there that day, and I said, well, I'm not going back there again. You know, I didn't, that feeling made me uncomfortable. You know, I didn't understand why at the time, but it, it was a feeling I was trying to get rid of. So about two weeks later, you know, after saying I was never going back, I found a Another excuse to go back to that little church. Started going to church services there about every other week. About six months into this, I went home one night. It was January 18th of 2004. And I just, just talked to God and I asked God, I said, whatever it is you want me to do, you just tell me what to do. And at that instant, I asked Jesus into my heart. And when you always hear me say, when I hold my grace hot sauce up, saved by grace, well, that's exactly what happened that night. When I asked Jesus into my heart, I was saved by grace. I was 37 years old, and, you know, I was a late bloomer. I did everything late in life. Graduated college that year. Uh, all that research I was doing, I ended up writing a book. Published it that year in 2004. It was called Glory Gone Forgotten, The Untold Story of the 12th Kentucky Cavalry. And also started going to church down there in that little country church. Every weekend I would drive down there. I'd stay the weekend with cousins, Chesley and Connie Doherty. They were my dad's cousins. Chesley was second cousin to my dad. But, but anyway, that was kind of like my weekend home down there in Butler County. So let's fast forward about three years. After going to church there every weekend for three years, I started dating Melissa. And then a few months later, we got married. So that was the end of my weekend excursions to Butler County. But, you know, when I said earlier at the restaurant that I have a special attachment to Butler County, 
and the grace hot sauce had something to do with it well now you know the story i will always have a special place in my heart because that is where the holy spirit touched me for the first time in my life that feeling that i've been getting that made me feel uneasy and a feeling i hadn't had before was actually the holy spirit coming into my heart and it took me six months to surrender but after a hard fight, I finally gave in. And so Butler County will always be special to me, in particular, Mount Vernon Missionary Baptist Church. That's where it all started for me. So there you have it. There's the rest of the story. I've been wanting to tell that story for a while, but I just didn't think it was the right time and the place. But being that I was going to watch Butler County in the Sweet 16 today and wanted you all to know my connection to Butler County, I felt like the time was right to go ahead and relay that story. So now, back to burgers and shakes. It was awesome. Everything was great. The food was great. I thank Rob and his wife for joining me today. Very nice. We all had a good time. I appreciate the, the followers that shouted out at me there. We had a good chat. Great shakes. Everything was top quality especially the nostalgia I like those old drive-in you know old burger joints as you all know by now so anyway I'm on 64 West headed back home now and y'all don't know nothing about these burgers and shakes and saved by grace Welcome back to Goodall's Country Kitchen.